Hello mga ka-vlogs! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Para sa araw na ito ay pag-uusapan natin kung paano gumawa ng GCash account. Ang una nating gagawin ay hanapin sa ating cellphone yung Play Store. I-click natin yung ating Play Store at i-type yung GCash. And then, i-install natin yung ating GCash sa ating cellphone. Hintayin natin na ma-install yung GCash application sa ating cellphone. Pagkatapos niyan ay i-click natin yung Open. Pag-click natin ng Open, makikita natin yung Request Permission. So dito sinasabi to enjoy the full features of the app, GCAS needs to access to contacts, storage, device location, and camera. So i-click lang natin yung OK. And then i-click lang natin yung allow para sa lahat na mag-pop up. I-click lang natin yung allow. Pagkatapos niyan, ay i-click natin yung register para tayo ngayon ay mag-register sa GCash. Dito ay sasabihin, Welcome to GCash. Turn your phone into a secure e-wallet Use it across all networks with no data charges for Globe and TM. So this is open para sa lahat ng mga subscribers gaya ng Smart, Talk and Text, Globe, and TM. Para magsimula, i-click natin o ilagay natin yung ating mobile number. Yung zero ay tatanggalin na natin sa ating mobile number. Then, i-click natin yung next. Pagkatapos niyan, ay meron siyang isi-send na authentication number sa ating cellphone. So, titingnan natin yung uh, authentication number na naisend sa ating cellphone at ilalagay or i-key in natin dito. So, meron siyang 6 numbers or code na ilalagay or isi-send sa ating mobile number. Yahin lang natin yung code na binigay sa atin or na isend sa ating cellphone number. Tandaan na hindi dapat natin i-share yung code na yan sa iba. And then, i-click natin yung submit. I-fill in din natin yung mga information sa data na ito. Kagaya ng ating first name, middle name, so, kung wala tayong middle name, po pwede natin i-click yung I do not have a middle name. Yung last name natin, yung ating birthday, yung ating address, at saka yung ating email. And then, kapag nakumpleto natin yan, ay i-click natin yung next button. Kung inyong nakikita, Sinasabi niya na review your information to check your spelling and important dates. Yung, yung full name, birthday, address, at saka yung email. Dito, may nakalagay na do you have a referral code. So, this is optional. So, sa akin, sa part ko, kasi wala pa akong referral code, mari mong i-leave or skip yung referral code na yan. At saka i-click yung button na next. Pagkatapos niyan, ay kinakailang mong mag-set ng iyong mobile PIN. So, you have to enter 4-digit mobile PIN. Dito sinasabi, avoid weak combinations like 4 na 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 for your birthday. And then, i-confirm natin yung 4-digit mobile PIN. And, i-click natin yung button na submit. Dito nakalagay, congratulations, you've successfully created your GCash account. Proceed to login. So, i-click lang natin yung word na login. Dito ay ating i-type yung ating mobile PIN. 
And then, ayan na. Yan yung features ng ating GCash. Welcome, here are the key features of GCash. Explore GCash full range of service here. So, mari natin i-click or i-tap to continue. Or, mari din natin i-skip. Para ma-enjoy natin yung full features ng GCash, kinakailangan natin i-verify yung ating account. So, para mag-verify ng ating account, i-click natin yung Get Verified. Dito sinasabi, it takes 3 minutes to complete this form. Meron tayong tatlong klase or level ng ating verification. Meron tayong basic level, semi-verified, at saka fully verified. Para malaman yung pagkakaiba ng tatlong level na ito, ating aalamin. Kung basic level yung iyong features ng GCash, you can only have offline cash in, pay bills, Buy Load, Amex Virtual Pay, and Pay QR. While, kung fully verified, yung iyong GCash ay marami features ang kanyang saklaw. So, maaari natin basahin yung mga verification levels ng ating GCash para maging aware tayo sa ating GCash. So, para maging fully verified, kinakailangan mo lamang mag-take ng ID photo, take a selfie, Fill information and send application. Ano ano ba yung mga valid IDs? So, ito yung mga valid IDs na kinakailangan para ma-verify yung ating GCash account. So, we have UMID, driver's license, PhilHealth card, SSS ID, passport, voter's ID, and mga other IDs. So, para ma-verify yung ating GCash account, kinakailangan natin i-click yung Get Verified. So, yung gagamitin ko na ID is yung driver's license. So, i-click natin yung driver's license. And then, kinakailangan natin kuha na ng picture yung ating ID. And then, i-click natin yung submit. After niyan ay kinakailangan natin kumuha ng selfie ng ating sarili. So dito nakalagay, position your face with the frame. You will be automatically scanned. The process is only 3 seconds. Click natin yung next. And then sasabihin niya, please blink your eyes. Para ma-scan yung ating mukha. Then, kinakailangan natin i-review yung ating mga personal information. Kinakailangan natin i-fill in yung mga information na kinakailangan para sa ating GCash. Pagkatapos niyan, ay i-click natin yung Next button. And then, sasabihin niya, Review your information. And then, kinakailangan natin i-click, I accept the terms and conditions. And then, confirm. Magpa-prompt yung application submitted. So, dito, sasabihin, please allow us 24 hours to review your application. You will be notified via SMS. We appreciate your patience and understanding. So, sa aking part, umabot lamang siya ng 2 minutes para ma-verify yung aking GCash account. Nag-send siya ng SMS sa aking cellphone. At sinabi, Congratulations! Your account has been fully verified. You can now use Send Money, Gcredit, PayPal Linking, and more. Thank you for using GCash. So, ayan na. Tapos na. Tayo ay nakapag-register na sa ating GCash. Abangan yung aking susunod na vlogs kung paano mag-cash in sa ating GCash. I hope na nakatulong sa inyo yung video na ito. Kung ikaw ay bago at nagustuhan mo ang aking video o napadaan ka lang, mara yung i-click ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para ma-update ka sa aking channel. Thank you for watching!